All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Mafia 3. Story mission finally popped up. Okay, here we go. Talk to Gina Kowalski. Continuing this, well, uh, gotcha. You got that little speed freak junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil. Say junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire in the ass. That and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. All right, so we got to confront Jack Junior Holland. Okay. Oh, I definitely like this car. We're going to take this one. All right, here we go. Jack Jr. Holland is who we're after. He's right around the corner, too. Only a little over 300 meters. Things a little too fast for its own good sometimes. Oh, that's a bad guy. Somebody there? Mm-hmm. So we got three boys there and a sentry. And a sentry behind me. Okay, good. He didn't see that. Let's get this sentry down real quick, and then we'll work our way to the other guys over that way. Bam. Done. Medicine cabinet. There's a sentry over here somewhere. He must go oh, right there. You know, I've got an idea. I'm gonna call in Can you give me some supplies out here by the harbor? my uh, dealer real quick. So if I'm not mistaken, I got a silenced pistol now that I can use, and I think it was free. Anything you want here? Let me see what you got. Let's see, shotguns, ha handguns, um, semi-auto. There should be. Silenced. Equip for free. Yes. That's the one. Search is called off. Repeat. Abandon search. Return to patrol. So the silenced pistol should allow me to take this dude out. <laughs> nice. This is going to make life so much easier when I can cap people without being heard. Let's check these corners. I think we're full. Yeah, we're full on all this stuff. Oh, snap. Where the heck are... Where the heck are these guys chucking Molotovs from? Maybe they're just too far away for me to see. <laughs> Why am I just not seeing these guys? Whoa! 
crap. Time to heal. No. Crap, I think that was the guy we needed, too. Oh, it was. No, it wasn't. He's still over here. I thought I saw the star above his head. I'll take... Ooh. Nope, I don't care about that. I want... I want the cash. I'll take that and that. Thank you. Oh, there's uh, some armor right here. Definitely going to need that. Those shotgun guys hit hard. Hmm. Still not seeing anybody, but the guy we need is just right over there. heck was that dude laughing at? <laughs> dude was just chuckling about nothing. Oh god. I'll take that cash. I hear him. I ain't giving up dead, there he is. Oh, I'm on. Oh. oh my, what the heck is he doing? Dude. That was so weird. <laughs> that was awesome. Whoa. Okay. All right, I'm moving up on this guy. Say good night. those big balls now, Junior. Oh. Grand Theft Auto Racket is secured. Another one down. So we can assign this to uh, anybody here. So let's see. 64 current income 64 income increase 40,000 40,000 40,000 um hmm guess we'll assign it to veto why not uh let's do cassandra if we're gonna hold tick for harbor i'm gonna need some of your guys yeah okay but if you asking me to commit the lives of my men here, then I expect you to commit to me. And remember this road was set not on in the here and now. These people are always so cranky. Ballers showed up in their purple cars. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Hey there, Mr. Clay. 
We got this place under control. Gonna run it nice and smooth. Plenty of money to be made. Oh, I'll take this. Thank you. All right. Now we have to go see Donovan for the latest on Franks. I like how the fact that it just keeps with the story missions, which makes me worry. We've been having a lot of story missions uh, going on, so that tells me that we're going to get through a bunch of these, and then it's going to get us uh, stuck back into doing more rackets for a long time. All right, so we're going to head over to Donovan now and see what he's got in store for us. He's just chilling in this van like all the time. <laughs> I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. Okay. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later. All right. Oh, I hear it beeping. Okay, so it's like over this way somewhere. Uh, I gotta get out of this train yard. Oh, we're getting closer. I hear it. Looks like the place. Make your way inside. Okay. So we got two cronies over there. guy coming up behind me. That guy's the guy I was hearing whistling. I know a Come on over here, my friend. Come along. I know he's got another buddy over here somewhere. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I love that sprint takedown. All right, so we gotta get to Frank. I don't know if we gotta go up and around this way. Yep. God damn. What was that? Why don't you come check it out? Not sure. Okay, we got a dude over here. Looks like he's on the phone Listen or something. Here, asshole. I want you to close your goddamn <laughs> Crap, he's running. Let's see if you still got skills, friend. Crap. Mr. Pagani, you can't be talking like that about Mr. McConnell. 
Light that gas tank up. Good night. <laughs> oh, he's on fire. He's on fire. <laughs> I never did anything to you. It's all some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen. What you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. Had me bring in a man. Named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates too. Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery. <laughs> Mulcahy wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, how? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? Forty-eight years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something. I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was—a monster. Mm. Harsh words. I wouldn't necessarily say he's a monster, just out for justice. So Frank Pagani takedown is now complete. Oh snap, another sit down. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end my decision is final. Well here this Lincoln. You can make any final decisions you want to make. But splitting the action in one of these districts between my men and theirs ain't happening. This turf comes to me. Why, boys, are your problem? Considering I've got men in the area as well, it looks as if you're a train to keep us guessing. That's fucking rich. Listen, pal, all you need to know is who's the best man for this part of the city. That's me. No doubt. So you've already assigned the rackets in this district, but now you must assign the district to one of your underbosses and all bets are off. Deciding who will run this district will reassign its rackets to your chosen underboss. Signing a district to one of your underbosses will unlock more favors and improve the amount of kickback you'll collect while making them more loyal. Underbosses might resent not getting a district, which could have consequences down the road, but if you really want to get the most out of any single underboss, you'll need to make the hard choices. Don't leave me with blue balls, her boy. There's only one smart play here, partner. <laughs> you start dangling territory in front of me and then snatch it back. This agreement we had, it ain't gonna last. I ain't had a lot of people stand by me through it all. Joe was one of a kind. You and me, we have an understanding, right? Hmm. So current income, increased income. He's going to give us a high damage pistol. I'm gonna give it to Vito. Calling this one for Scaletta. God damn, Chalky! What the fuck are you doing? I held down that bit of action just like you asked. I'm not taking this kind of shit from you no more. And what, pray tell, do you propose I say to my men who put their lives on the line for you? Forget it. There's nothing to be said, nothing that justifies it. My fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. 
We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. People are getting uh, upset. <laughs> Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so he could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. Like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low-key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez. So he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. I get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. Looks like it's time for another racket, boys. <laughs> so do I get to keep that fancy car that I stole for that mission? Nope, it's not here. Ah, that's a bummer. That was a good car. Alright, well... Conversation unlocked. Don't know if we have missions unlocked here. I see a conversation unlocked. Uh, somewhere around here is a conversation unlocked, it said. But at any rate, guys, I'm going to figure that out. We are going to wrap this episode up. This one was actually a pretty good one. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And we'll catch you guys next time.